Ooh, 12 a.m. on the dot. I'm good. I'm really good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode, another broadcast of Knights of Horror Radio. Riot in the chat. First time chat. I don't think it's a first time chat. I, I feel like you've you've been in the chat under other names that I was on this platform. But nonetheless, welcome back to another episode of Knights of Horror Radio. I am your host for tonight, Anthony Zaragoza. And tonight we have you a wonderful episode for you guys. We're going to be taking a trip down memory lane. We're going to we're going to jump in that time machine. We're going to go hit 88. We're going to go back to 2019 for Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. Ayo. I like that. I did a little Scott Hall on that right there. But yeah. Uh I'm going to be joined in a little bit with um with Vertigo with hi i'm rob first time long time lol what's up rob the glory days matt's in here what's going on matt was on the show last week uh and we had our fun uh bracket tournament 2023 best maze of 2023 and that was a lot of fun uh we we put together a little bracket system with four haunts that we we chose from had a lot of fun with that um and we just uh it was great i can't wait to do something like that again i think we were kind of hinting at doing that with scare zones next uh it's gonna be a lot of fun this week we're gonna be reviewing 2019's dark harbor get you guys a little ready for the return this year this haunt season and we are super excited it's lately all we've been really talking about on nights of horror radio if you follow us on tiktok and all that um you know it's it's everything that we've been uh, talking about lately. It, it's huge in the haunt world right now because of the fact that we didn't think we were going to get this haunt to return again. So to see it come back, to see it back, uh, it, it's awesome. Uh, to hear the community, what they think about it, to hear the people that even work the event to, to talk about it. It's it's just been awesome. And you guys are probably wondering, like, why are you having the same guest on every week? Well, that's because the same guests that I have on every week are up the same time that I am when I broadcast this show live. If you guys are catching the replay over on YouTube, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, for listening and try to catch us live right here on twitch.tv uh we got some cool uh music for you today manic i i started listening to manic and it is an insane uh sound to me we're gonna get to them in a little bit with human beings but uh first and foremost we got to get down to the nitty-gritty of the horror and haunt news uh before we get started in our little uh little watch through that we're doing today first and foremost i think the news that that really was uh, huge for me today was waking up and finding out that we are going to get another Beetlejuice Beetlejuice trailer coming this Thursday, the first official trailer. We got a little teaser uh, about a month ago. It was everything that I wanted it to be, and I'm excited for this movie. It's coming out this, uh, I believe, September, October, so it's going to be a fun time. Trailer is dropping Thursday. Michael Keaton, the juice is loose, man. I mean, that needs to be the slogan for this movie. Thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate the follows um, very much. Actually, you may have just been my 150th, so thank you so much for being my 150th follower. It means the world to me. Um, I'm excited for this new Beetlejuice movie. I really am. And, uh, it, you know, it, it's been a long time coming. And uh, I cannot wait to see what they do with the sequel. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Michael Keaton, one of my favorite actors, in my opinion, one of the best Batman of all time. Um, and, you know, I've seen him in a ton of other movies like The Founder, which was really good about McDonald's. Um, Birdman, how can you forget his iconic uh, performance in Birdman was really good. And to see him return to a character like Beetlejuice, man. Never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see him return as Batman, yet alone to see him return as Beetlejuice. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a wild ride. I, I don't know what to expect for this movie. Uh, I heard from, like, just interviews from Michael Keaton and everything that you're supposed to be getting more of Beetlejuice's backstory. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, we're kind of just introduced to this demon in the first film, and now to get a, an actual backstory uh, would be a lot of fun, too. So I'm excited to see where, where this, this goes and, and how Tim Burton comes back. Now, here's a question I want to pose to the chat. I'm a huge fan of Claymation, Tim Burton, and uh, like go back and watch the first Beetlejuice. Go, obviously, Nightmare Before Christmas, his team did that. Um, you know, all this stuff. Go back and watch all these movies. He's known for the Claymation. Known for it, right? I want to know 
do you guys are you guys a fan of the CGI that he's done in the past? Because I'm gonna be quite honest with you, I'm not a fan of his CGI. So I'm hoping it's a lot more practical effects uh, in this next Beetlejuice movie than CGI. But I understand if CGI is needed. Obviously, it's available to you. It's gotten a lot better over the years. So what do you guys think? Do you want to see for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, do you want to see more practical effects? Or do you want to see a little bit of CGI since the technology has gotten a lot better now? Me personally, if you're going to do Beetlejuice, I got to do practical effects. I have been let down by a lot of nostalgia sequels, and I've got low expectations. I feel that. I feel that. We just actually had a, a rant last week about Exorcist and Exorcist Believer, um, and I felt very... Uh, I didn't like the film, Exorcist Believer, as much as I love The Exorcist. So to see... to see, Yeah, I mean, I, I actually have to agree with that statement. I wasn't a fan of Hocus Pocus 2. I didn't like the direction they went with it. Um and just wasn't a fan of it. The The first one is is iconic. And when they announced the sequel, I think there was a lot of backing, a lot of excitement for it. And for a lot of people, it, 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 you know, they, they lived up to that excitement. For me, I just was like, mm, not really for me. But uh, yeah, like Halloween ends, not my favorite. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, I mean, be, you know, I, I, I kind of have a lot of faith in Tim Burton. Tim Burton has done a lot of good stuff over the years. Uh, he's the Wednesday show. I think was a really good, strong uh, addition to his his slate of already amazing music. So, um, yeah, it's just don't even get me started on Corey Cunningham. Get her, get him, get him started, get him started, get him started. If it's Burton, it has to be practical. I I 100 agree. Um, I think Burton. Burton is just it's that's just his style I you know if you look at the 80s and 90s of, of Burton movies that he did it was like that dark gothic kind of style and I think that's what fans loved about it so I don't know we uh we'll find out I, I'm looking forward to it I, I got to see this trailer this week to maybe give me more of a story of what's going on I'm going to assume that the dad in this movie compared to the first movie is going to be dead. That's the funeral they're at. I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's rumor Johnny Depp might even be in the film. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. That that would be his first big role back after all of the, the lawsuit stuff with him and Amber Heard, which I watched religiously. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the country did, <laughs> but uh, what's going on nightmare. How you doing? Aaron, my dude, how you doing? How you doing? But uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to see where this sequel goes. Now, let's get to haunt news. There's there's a few uh, things we got to talk about in the haunt world. There's a few things that I'm a little upset about in the haunt world, as as to sort of speak. Right now, um, but we are here, just here to support. Hey, I appreciate you, man. I hope you get better, man. Hope you get better. Um, Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando has denounced three original mazes within the span of a week. They announced their first maze, I think it was Friday or Saturday, at Spooky Empire over in Florida, which is kind of uh, like their horror convention. They did a panel there. Uh, from what I heard, the panel was a packed house, so that's good. Um, it's usually like that here with Midsummer Scream. Uh, that panel line goes out the damn door, downstairs. Like It, it goes long. Um, so to see that it got that same reception out there in Florida, that's really cool. Um, three new original mazes that they got announced and yet we're left in the dry here in Hollywood. Now, marketing has their way of doing things and I assume that, hey, maybe they're holding off on some IPs to announce together. Okay, I get that. I understand that you guys want to do those joint announcements. You guys always have done the joint announcements since I started going to the event, since I started paying attention to the event, and since I started covering the event. I've always seen you guys do joint IP announcements, unless, per se, one park has the IP and the other park doesn't. I've always seen that. It always happens. I know, though, that within the last couple of years of Halloween Horror Nights, we've been starting to see more originals pop up at the event. So I would say maybe go on par to to start announcing some of those originals. Now, 
it was just brought up to me a few minutes ago by Matt that obviously their event is opening a lot sooner than our event. So that's why they are starting to roll out announcements, which, okay, I get that. That makes sense. They're starting on August 30th this year, earliest I think any haunt has ever started, uh, especially bleeding into the August month. Now we have two months of a haunt, uh, and we've had that discussion about year-round haunt. But um, I, I think Hollywood needs to start stepping up now and and start announcing something uh, an ip or something i imagine this week orlando will announce most of their originals and then maybe at the end of the week we get an ip announcement finally that's my guess that's my theory i don't know anything um there was a speculation map that came out today from what a lot of people have told me it's actually like a lot of sources and stuff it's actually really accurate but um i don't know i am a i'm i'm old school when it comes to speculating i really I look at all these speculation maps and stuff, but if it were really up to me, I like the old school way of just kind of whatever happened to turning on a camera and just whatever was relevant in pop culture at the moment, whatever just came out in theaters that that was potentially a big IP that could be at Horror Nights, whatever happened to just doing that. You know, there's so many horror movies coming out this year that I'm like, there's so many pot- potential possibilities that could be at Halloween Horror Nights just watching some of these movies. So we'll see. I mean, there there's just so much that I see on a year to year basis. Uh, I, I think, yeah, exactly. Strangers is a perfect example of that. Um, Abigail, I watched Abigail this year. I think that would make a fucking stunning maze. Uh, a lot of people didn't like this one, but I did. Imaginary was actually, I think is maze worthy. Um, especially just the psychology of that film is just insane. Um, Late Night with the Devil, but I, I don't see that as really a... Uh, I'm thinking of horror movies that I've seen this year, but yeah. Lisa Frankenstein, I have that one. I have yet to see that. I really do want to see that because I do like the two leads of that film. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's was a given when I watched that movie. Exactly. like That that should have been there last year. Um, I'm hoping one day we get it. I, I don't foresee it coming this year, though, honestly. Like... If anything, maybe an appearance on the Terror Tram because the rumor Terror Tram right now is going to be like a Blumhouse kind of uh, uh, like original. I don't know. I I have not seen The Strangers yet though. Everyone that I've talked to has said it's great. I know Aaron said it was really good. It was a good start to this trilogy. Um, Rob, I I don't I don't think I've heard you talk about it yet. Maybe I did hear you talk about. it. I think you gave it some good reviews too. Um, Catherine Newton still be coming this gen. Uh, I think between her and. Um, her and and uh what's her name uh like oh i can't remember her name Fuck wednesday adams from the wednesday show and she was in scream i, I can't remember her name right now i know y'all gonna put it in the chat right now that's why i appreciate all of you um yeah i mean listen okay jenna ortega there you go jenna ortega thank you very much um but uh yeah you know there's just there's a lot of things going on right now in the horror world, and next to Halloween ends, what are we talking about? Just Halloween in general? Winnie the Pooh, 100P is locked in for HHN Hollywood. Oh, man. It, it, it It's going to be interesting to see what this year follows up, but um, yeah, I, I'm excited. Um, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, also, Dark Harbor's been slowly revealing more and more characters. Uh, their most recent post this this last week that I saw was who they should reveal next. They did their reveal with, I guess, the uh, the ringmaster, kind of obviously representing the circus theme. So we can hopefully expect to see the the circus theme return to um, you know, uh, to Dark Harbor, like as a maze and and just that theming of that area. We know that that the ringmaster is going to be back, so I'm excited for that. Um, there was a bunch of characters, shadows that we are very well familiar with that were in the promo video. Super stoked to see them all return. I can't wait till they get their full reveal videos. Um, but yeah, another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I was talking to this week with some of my friends and 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 telling them like my my you know the friends that that like other the other people that do like YouTube with me like Lost TV, Zombie Chris, uh, Eddie Tainment, Exploring Attractions, Rob's in there. Um, Connor, uh, Hollow Thrills, all those guys. We have a little group chat, and I, you know, we we were talking about we miss the creativeness behind um, what it took for them to build HHN um, commercials. Now, you guys remember back in the day, like 
we're talking fucking what you know the commercials that we had like uh, let me see if i could pull one up real quick we could probably watch one on stream um okay uh okay mike's still on all right, you're not going to be able to see me right now, but I want to commentate something. Uh, there's our Dark Harbor stuff. We're going to watch that in a little bit. But for example, um, HHN, Jack, Fortune, Teller. Okay, uh, this right here was one of my favorite Halloween Horror Nights commercial. And, and matter of fact, this is what introduced me to the uh, Halloween Horror Nights uh, icons over in Orlando. This was, this is what really introduced me to Orlando in general. Um, in my opinion, they don't make commercials like this no more. And I feel like even with the originals, you do something, do something good, like a little commercial, like film something quick. I mean, you're Universal Studios. You guys have fucking sound stages. You guys can build something real quick. But let's take a look at this HHN 17 uncut commercial. And like, this is the kind of things I want to see back with HHN again. These like fun commercials that invest you to want to go to the event. Like this right here, I wanted to go to this year so bad, no matter how young I was and how scared I knew I was going to be, this sold me on wanting to be there. Like Jack playing a fucking tarot reader, that is so cool. And those cards, like I wanted all those cards. So what's my future? You don't have one. <laughs> this Halloween, Jack like, presents Jason, Freddy, and Leatherface at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Spend the night and see if you can handle the carnival of carnage. <laughs> Hotel and ticket packages starting at just $89. Wow, it used to be really cheap back then. Can you imagine if we still had those prices today? Like, that'd be fucking hilarious. Dollars to book your package call now um, or visit Halloween. But this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, dude. Like, it's one of those things where I'm just like, what happened? Like, why did we stop producing commercials like that? I just think that, um, I don't know. We need to get creativity back. I know, for example, too... You know, you're talking about original properties, and I know it's sometimes a little bit harder to come up with ideas to film for something, but if you have the entire storyline, entire script ready for a maze, you should be able to translate that into um, a, a short promo video. A perfect example that I know it can be done, and it can be done even on a smaller budget level, not Scary Farm. Not Scary Farm in the last couple of years when they've done announcements as far as, like, before they, did the, they brought back the announcement event and stuff, um... You know, they made some really fun announcement videos, and I would say, like, I'm not saying, like, you have to put them on TV, though. Like, I understand that that was a TV commercial. I'm just saying, like, you're right. Social media is as big as it is today. Everyone's on fucking YouTube. Everyone's on fucking Instagram. Everyone's on TikTok. All these social media, Twitter, threads, all these social media platforms, you can still make a video and put them on all these social media platforms. Like, that's not, there's there's no excuse as to why they can't do that. There are so many platforms available today that you can do that. And I would want to see that. Like I said, Knotts did a perfect example of this. Yeah, and look at, they brought up right now, uh, of course, HHN can use their Peacock connection to push their commercial. Perfect. I mean, let's be honest, when you buy a ticket to HHN, like I think front of the line or better, they give you a six month subscription to Peacock. So like that tells you that their fucking their partnership is going good. And not to mention, not Scary Farm has done this. Not Scary Farm did an amazing return uh, promo video package in 2021 and in 2022. Re brought the uh, return of uh, the announcement event back in 2023. Uh, and they still had fucking cool videos up there. A lot of them were art too. Like, do some fucking artwork. I'd love to see some artwork of what characters we're going to potentially see in a maze. I mean, they gave us the initial artwork and logo, and that's cool enough. They gave us a brief description, but I want to see something created. I mean, I guess, I mean, Paul has said it best. My, my, head is just gears ticking constantly of just ideas and it's just a matter of just just acting on them but it, honestly like you know i i think really honestly i feel they would save money if they use social media or at least be cheaper than a tv commercial i agree i agree a hundred percent 
Um, budget is tight. You're right. I, I and I understand. I you know, and I and literally, trust me. I take I take all those things into consideration. My problem is though, that's still not an excuse because they have all the costumes, they have all the fucking, they have everything they need to make the commercial. They literally all they got to do is pull a few set pieces, and that's about it. Like that's about the only thing that's going to cost you more budget. Obviously, you know, there's a lot more logistics than that, but. There should be no excuse about it. Like, if not, Scary Farm can do it. And they some did they did some really fucking cool promos. Like, when they were going through the fucking trains that one year, I, I think it was 22 and 23, that when, they, when they filmed the train promo and you were going in and out of the train and you were seeing all these different stuff from all these different mazes, like, that was fun for me. Because, like, I was like, okay, like, even though they're returning mazes, I'm still excited for them. Um... I, 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 yeah, see what I mean? Like, the train promo is iconic, and I'm still excited for them. Like, even though I've seen the maze, I know exactly how the maze is going to play out from start to finish. I've seen it all. I'm excited to go see them again, though. Those videos get my excitement going. And then when they would do the new stuff, they actually had a full on video. Like, for Bloodline, that video was fucking epic. For Grimoire, that video was epic. And that literally, Grimoire. Both vi videos, mine, may, may I add, set up the mazes so perfectly that when I got to Not Scary Farm that year, I already knew what, what the story was kind of going into it, and then that just expanded that story even more. So they gave you the preview to show you what this maze is. What They, they kind of give you that teaser as to like, okay, let's set you up. So by the time you get to the event, and you go through that maze, you're literally picking up where you left off. Because what happens at the end of that trailer for Grimoire? The girl opens the book, she goes crazy, and then she closes it, and then they go back to talking again, right? And they're at this, like, like abandoned treehouse or this campsite or whatever. What happens when you go through Grimoire? What's the first thing that you see after you walk through that tunnel? You're in the campfire, the, the girl's reading the book, all hell breaks loose. Then you go back in time. Like... It's just the storytelling that Not Scary Farm does is not appreciated enough, in my opinion, and it needs to have a little bit more appreciation because they're doing stuff at a much smaller budget level, and they are fucking executing it. Um, and I, I it, it was the same thing when they did for Mesmer, um, an announcement trailer. Like, that set that maze up perfectly for me as to, like, how weird this maze was going to be. Um, so I'm just saying, as a fan... At least for me, if I see a trailer like that that sets me up, that gives me somewhat of a backstory of like, uh, this is like a prequel leading up. To, this is your prelude, you know. Like this is this is like your your. Oh, this this isn't even chapter one yet. Like this is just like your opening word right here, um, and you know it's just got me excited. So I don't know. I'm excited for uh, this haunt season. As you can tell, I I'm very passionate about the haunt world. Uh, I wouldn't be. Uh, talking very uh, you know i wouldn't give be giving my constructive criticism if i didn't care i just want to see these guys do better i just want to be more hyped for these mazes and uh yeah you couldn't tell anyway uh when we come back from break i'm going to be sitting with uh lone star and vertigo of the qm slider team and we are going to be reviewing and watching walkthroughs of qm 2019 at dark uh at of course dark harbor 2019 the last year that dark harbor was in operation we're going to be watching all the maze walkthroughs we're going to be watching the opening ceremony and we're even going to be watching the slider show so stay tuned right after uh, manic we're going to be coming at you live with some walkthroughs stay tuned Your bones everywhere you 
All right, we are back here on Nights of Horror Radio, fresh off of Manic, and I'm joined in the eye of the storm again. I'm here with Vertigo. I'm here with Lone Star. Lone Star, I don't know what he's doing over there. We do. That's the, that's the, that's the kind of show we do here. We we call people out on this show. We, we're not afraid to do that. I called I called Paul out last week on yawning. Did I not? You gonna yawn? happen again? Are you gonna yawn this week? We're doing this at midnight. It's going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> um, gentlemen, it's 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 a long time coming, but 2024, obviously, we've been talking it uh, a lot on Nights of Horror. Uh, it's huge news and uh, you know, we're not going to we're not going to drop it that easy, but um, I thought it'd be fun to to take a look back. I mean, you guys were there for the closing year of Dark Harbor 2019. Paul, 
you're going to be there hopefully for the 2024 opening resurgence. Uh, hopefully that that's the plan. Um, we'll see. Maybe you're going to Knott's. I yeah. don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully. I would hope I you'd go back know. home, but, you know, I mean, Knott's has been good to you, too, so it's, it's kind of a hard decision Not, for you Nots to make. Knott's has been fantastic for me. Yeah, I mean, it's a hard decision for you to make. You're really caught between a rock and a hard place right now, so best of luck to both auditions if hopefully you get one or the other, you know, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, Dark Harbor 2019, man, the first year I got to go, uh, a very special event in my, in, in my heart specifically um they took a chance on us for media and that was super super cool of them to do that um that was our, our first big media event we ever got to go to and we had a fucking blast um right. i would go again the next week because they were doing a deal for like 20 dollars tickets that week uh for like the first couple of week, uh, first couple of weeks i think in september so i i bought tickets and went back the next week as just a regular guest and that was a lot of fun too and um it, it's gonna be fun to go back and look at it through your guys' eyes. Um, I didn't know you guys then. I didn't meet you guys until right. post, uh, yeah. like uh, around COVID, post COVID kind of era. But um, now we're coming into this as brothers. Another year. Um, yeah. What do you remember the most about 2019? Besides, was, besides, that, was, that, was that the year that I fell off the pole or was that 18? No, Paul fell off a light pole in 2019. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we've... I, 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 that, like, that. the only reason why I remember is because everybody, every year, is like, tell them, tell us the story, you know? Yeah, I think we've told the story on the show, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, we, we did. It was um, like day one. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it's something. It's going to be special. I, I think it's going to be very emotional. Um, but for those who've never been, this is going to be a fun time for you guys tonight. Yeah. What yeah. Are, what are you laughing at? Matt, he's just like lamp, <laughs> lamp. I love lamps. I love lamps. Um, a lot of lot of tears shed that year for everybody. I imagine we, we no, we had a bunch of people like retiring that year too. Oh, so so and then just yeah. to get get hit on top of with the pandemic the very well, next we year. We weren't expecting that. No, I'm saying like the next that. year, like that, and then that hits, and then like we don't even know the status of that after. We didn't know the status of anything. Right. You know, everything yeah. was just stopped. We were. I just remember us being so ready for that next year. Like, we were already at the rink in December. You know, we were already constantly starting to go. And then it was, like, late February. And I think we got, like, one day of boot camp done. And the following week, we, we get, like, hit with a, the stay at home for two weeks, you know? Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. And then... Actually, no, it didn't suck. That was pretty fun in the beginning. And then, like, for me, after the third month, I was like, I need to do something with my life. Yeah. Because my yeah. life is just on repeat every single day. Um, I, so, think, yeah. I think it just sucked for everybody. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It, that's literally how it was. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. But we did a couple podcasts with you guys, and then True. we started talking more and more there, and here we are today. Paul, you've been on every episode of Nights of Horror Radio since its start. I appreciate that. Somebody kill me. No, <laughs> Somebody kill me. <laughs> oh, man. It's a, it's, a it's a joke. All right. Without further ado, let's no more waiting. I think everyone's been waiting long enough. Let's dive into the, uh, I think, obviously, for starters, opening ceremony. So um, let's dive into that, and then uh, we'll go from there. This, what was I going to say? Opening ceremony was so surreal in 2018 for me was it yeah all right let me i gotta readjust some stuff because you know your guy's not ever prepared on nights of horror radio what is preparedness we don't Doesn't know preparedness matter. we don't know it. we're just we're just here we are just here i like that all right <laughs> It's the boy theme park HD. I should shout him out before we start this. That's who we're watching tonight. Yeah. Now, we all love Brad. You think Brad comes back this year? I would hope so. I mean, he, was, he was featured in the, uh, the initial promo. Now, I know uh, that he did 
when he because this was the year Dark Horizon happened too. Right. And I know he yeah. did Dark Harbor for like a few weeks and then shipped out to, to Dark did, Horizon. He did two weekends and then a friend of ours had was like a fill in basically. Right. He wasn't wrong. <laughs> that was actually really smart that he said that because year after year there was a bunch of people that just kept taking photos of fog and it was so funny. Maybe people just like fog. Okay, buddy, I don't think that much. <laughs> I mean, I remember seeing some kids like stick their faces in front of the nozzle of the fog machine to just fucking inhale. Jesus. Yeah. For people like think they're like, oh, let me touch it, and like they don't realize that that thing's like piping hot. Yeah. They're just like, and they're like, I don't know why it's not on dark mode. It should have been. The top section looks like it is. It's like half and half. Yeah. He said, "Me, you're that guy, bro. Me." <laughs> we should clip that sound bite. Me or something. <laughs> you're that guy for real. I'm that guy for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> honestly, that's me probably too. See, like, you don't get this shit anywhere else. You don't. No, no. Like, no. For, for this well, to turn into a straight roasting session rather than... Well, yeah, because there's no interactive opening ceremonies anywhere. It's like like Six Flags unle Unleashed. And yeah. Like, they just they open you know the fence and a bunch run out at a time. Scary Farm, they bum rush you, you know. I see Scary Farm and Hornets do more of the show moments, you know? Yeah, absolutely. This was getting used to the crowd, you know. Like, I don't think I've used to. I don't think I've ever asked any of you guys this, but like, who was your favorite icon for Harbor? Yeah. Honestly, Brad. Brad or like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about. Obviously, the performance is something, but I'm talking about just overall. Like, like right. what character? was your favorite you did you were you just a captain a captain fan because of brad or no i i just thought the captain was just like it the whole event honestly could go on with just the captain as like right. an icon right. yeah i agree so um i have to brad, say like, though brad or gale for me on that no other haunt has like done like hhn they've done a whole bunch of like random icons they can't do a captain it wouldn't make sense yeah you know Yeah, it's – I have to say, I, I did like – was her name Peggy? Yes. As yeah, the Master, ringmaster. Yeah. Um, the one that's talking right now is uh, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew did, a, Andrew did a really good job. Andrew did a good job. Yeah. Um, but Peggy is just the OG, so it's like yeah, – Yeah, Peggy was OG. And I got to meet her at Awaken the Spirits, and she was just a sweetheart. She's an incredible person to meet. Because I think she was the moderator for that Queen Mary panel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> How many secret bars we getting this year? 47. How many what? How many secret bars we getting this year? Uh, uh, I told Hunter to put... To, I told Hunter, let's put one in the fucking... In the... And the in the submarine, she's like, it's sinking. It oh is. yeah, no, dude. I was like, dog, save the submarine. <laughs> oh, dude, no, it's so bad. Like this year at Shack, like you just looking at it, you're like, wow, this has gone to shit, huh? Yeah. It's because of all that sun and that water mixture, bro. It's just not good for it. The sun, water, salt. Mm hmm. Just eat that shit. From, algae. The waves from. You know, the ocean just constantly hitting it, too. 
Oh yeah, Rogue was brand new in 2019. That's right. 2018, it was called uh, Dead Rise. And then back in the 2017, it was turned away because it was at capacity. Right. I uh, I when I went in 2019, I got to go in three of the secret bars. I did one in B340, which was right at the start of the goddamn maze. Um, I did the Rogue so One. Good. Rogue One. Um, and I think I did Feast. Oh, hang on, hang on. How fun was that to do every night? It was cool. And then when 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 everybody gets like quiet, quiet, we could just hear like the, all the crowd just kind of like laughing and giggling and just going like, "Oh shit," you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. There was 13 bars that year. Yeah. We double that number next this year. No. <laughs> how about how about this? How do you we quadruple it this year? We do a dab bar. <laughs> <laughs> right next dab to the Hooper Lounge. <laughs> dab, dab bar. bar present, <laughs> dude, dab bar pre 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 presented by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's the new sponsor of the event. Oh yeah. All right, let's see if you see any of us like run through. Oh, that's There's Justin. Justin. There's Justin. <laughs> I think that oh, was you and Hunter. Here. Yeah, yeah, we went right. I think I, I might have been in front of Justin, honestly. Because I was only, I was, I was one of the always in the front because I was. Like I'm a bigger guy, so I was able to make the like a weight. And, and then like who do we, who do we have on forever. stilts? I know. Uh, did you guys know the people on stilts? We yeah, that's them, yeah. Devin. That's um, Devin. Was was he shorty or tiny? Uh, that's tiny. Yeah. What about these? Look at these fingers right here. This is. They were like some like mechanical, like kind of like plastic. Type of fingers. Yeah, that, that person was just um they were one of like the aerialists or like jugglers or something like that. Yeah. You should have tucked that mask in. That whole costume was so wild. It looked like a clusterfuck. Yeah. No, dude, the the point of it was for it to look like that. Cherry's so small, she's like, I'm just gonna stay right here. Oh yeah. I'm probably in this crowd somewhere, to be honest with you. That's creep. Berdetta, the voodoo priestess. I can never figure out who Gail was that year. All right. What it, maze it you guys want to go in first? What happened? What maze do you want to go in uh, first? The Gail. I'm going to change. The what? Gail. Oh. Uh... No circus. Oh no, Omar! There was no um, graceful gale maze that year. It was just circus lullaby, B three forty feast, intrepid, and rogue. Yeah, they got rid of it that year, twenty eighteen. That was probably the last year. Was the last year, and that's probably what rogue came in and replaced essentially, not the same location, but just that spot. Wait, yeah. Whoa, what are you talking about? Graceful gale's maze was she not there. Had anymore. a maze. Yeah, she did. 2017 oh, maze. Is she? They, they, they. I'm, I'm. Chat saying 2017. Oh yes, yeah, 2017. Because yes. um, feast replaced yeah, it. Feast, feast replaced it. In my opinion, room 13 gives Dark Harbor vibes, and that's not a bad thing. I can agree with that to a certain extent. I think the overall theming of the hotel kind of gives those vibes when you see that opening lobby scene. Um, there's more. I think there's more to it than. Yeah. Then it just being something related to Dark Harbor. But I agree. There first. is some there is some aspects of it. Now you think we're gonna see the whole shipping containers and shit back again? Or you think they figured uh, out a way uh, around probably. that? I, I think so. Yeah, I think it'll be back. 
I just think that's what made this event this event, though. You saw these shipping containers, and it was like, okay. Then Sha Shaq kind of did the same thing, but they made it more neat. Yeah. Circus was so cool, too. It was a good concept. Yeah. I, I very much enjoyed it. You don't know how excited I am to be going back to Dark Harbor. I think this is honestly my most hype haunt this year. Oh, this, there's Lauren. She, she scared the yeah. fuck out of me when I walked through this maze. And then I couldn't find my... And then, like a dumbass, I'm following her. I'm like, I'm not... I shouldn't be following her because she's just going to take me in a fucking circle. Did you guys ever go in the mazes? Uh, we did. Only, or I did. Only a rogue. couple times. Yeah. What What are you doing? <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> no. So what would happen sometimes is the monsters would send them one way, and it would take them like back to like the main entrance. So I just fuck with people all night. Oh yeah. Give me that 100%, fucking job. Percent. Be like, you went the wrong way. This is the entrance again. <laughs> That's actually the way they're supposed to go. Yeah. Just think now, though. You're going to have Dented there? Fuck. <laughs> dented was probably there. I think so. Just not doing maybe photography. Right. He was just there. He was just a wee little Dented. Actual punching bags. It was so funny. Yeah. I had if found the secret bar for this one. I didn't get to go in it. The ball pit. Dude, check this out. People were still finding those after it had ended. I believe it. Like, people were opening their haunt boxes and they'd be in there. I believe it. Dude, there was a couple of them at Shaq Hilberfest. I mean, look how filled that thing is, bro. Yeah. Like, you... you it's am I the only one? Am I the only one thinking about Jingle all the way right now? The shiny red ball. <laughs> Man. So, sorry, I can't watch. <laughs> You know, it's you know what's funny is t I used to watch Sammy go through this shit, and to watch him go through this motherfucker, I was such a dick one time. I made this motherfucker. I need. I was like, I need you to hold the camera walking through this. I need to see your point of view of this. And that shit was all tilted and shit. It was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. Oh man, I remember walking out of the maze and there were balls out in the street, and that ruined the surprise for me. <laughs> I'm going to be sad this season. It's going to be weird without all of our vets. Yeah, I agree, man. Definitely is going to be interesting to see how this season goes. Pog it out, pog it out, pog it out, Afro. Everybody now, was like, oh, a different entrance. Now, Paul, you and I talked about this, I think, a week or two ago, but... And, you know, I, I, I kind of want to bring it back because now I'm watching it and I'm just like, eh, maybe they will do something different. But you think they'll bring back the same mazes but maybe revamp them different? Or you think they'll keep maybe. them the exact same? No, they're gonna, I, no they, I, would re, they would revamp them. They're going to revamp them, yeah. So everything's getting like a fresh revamp. It should be, yeah. It's almost going to be like a yeah. reboot. Yeah. Gotcha. I hated this scene so much. When I went through this scene, it was foggy as fuck, and I couldn't see shit. It's probably because it was early on in the night. There's no fog. It's asylum. Yeah. Pretty much. So what's the whole... I, I So are you? did you go crazy in the circus? And then you went to the asylum? Is that the whole point? Maybe. Hey, Tony, subscribe. I am subscribed. I love Theme Park HD. That's my dude. I know.
He's like he's original, you know. He just does the POVs, no vlog status. He just that's, I miss those, man. That was like that was like peak 2012 YouTube right there. Yeah, loved yeah. it. So, uh, lullaby. Lullaby. Okay, so I have to say I have a funny story with this one. Um, lullaby was uh, probably one of my favorites. I think it was just creepy in the aspect of things, but I remember going with uh, my friends over at TLEV, and they had been at the event year prior, so. Um, by the way, maybe I should take the time to do this on air. We didn't do a try not to get scared challenge last year. So I want to do one this year. Only I don't yeah. want to do I don't want to do it at Halloween Horror Nights. You didn't do it? No, I, we didn't do it last year. Hmm. I don't know why. I think we just we never we couldn't link up. Um I don't want to do it at Halloween Horror Nights this year. I want to do it at Queen Mary's Dark Harbor this year. So I'm laying the challenge out right now, TLEV. Knights of Horror, TLEV, Try Not to Get Scared Challenge, 2024, Dark Harbor. And if you say no, y'all a bunch of bitches. Um, <laughs> anyway, hey, Tony. what's up? I was like, controversial subject. Should I come back? Should I not come back? I think Don't you should very up. much come back. I've seen you work Shacktober, <laughs> and that was like the closest I thought I was going to get to a Dark Harbor Lone Star. And then Dark Harbor announced this year, and I know, I know, last year was like a little bit more sentimental to you because I know that was last year was supposed to be like hanging it up. But it's like you, you got to be like the Undertaker, like you just can't be satisfied with that, knowing that Dark Harbor's <laughs> coming back. Like you got to have that one last final match under that name. Hey, dog, don't even trip. Opening night, Brad is gonna literally pull up a coffin on the top, and next thing you know, I'm gonna pop out. <laughs> <laughs> the bell tolls and everything. Flames gonna be going off. I'm going to be like the loudest one in that crowd. Well, yeah, in the crowd, I'm just going to hear, yeah. Like, yeah. This is all loud as shit, bro. You, you'll know it's me. You'll know. Um, no, it's okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how things work out. We'll see how life and family stuff It could possibly out. be a Ric Flair it could, it could be like a Ric Flair return. Be like, woo! And then, do, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. For real. <laughs> So, uh, TLEV versus Knights of Horror, Queen Mary Dark Harbor 2024. Let's see if, if they say yes. They probably won't. They probably won't even watch this. I, I'm going to have to make a TikTok about it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, anyway, back to my story. Uh, Josue, I miss I, that's the, him and Thomas, man. I miss them the most. I, I, I love them so much, man. Those are my brothers right there, Tim, too. Um, but Josue, man, that guy... When you put a camera in his face, man, that guy can do some funny ass shit. And the entire night we were we were freaking <laughs> going through lullaby. Like even when we were walking to the maze, motherfucker would just turn around, look at me and go, Lullaby, and then just walk away. And I'm just like <laughs> And then it just kept happening. It would actually it actually caught me a few times where I got scared because I thought it was part of the maze. Um Lullaby was great. Uh, I believe it was the same floor plant last year as the Great Ghost, or not the same floor plant, but the same location for the, right. the entrance and everything. But um, right, right. Yeah, so, dude. Yeah, if, if you if you look at it, um, Lullaby was where yeah where Great Ghost was, but Great Ghost entered upwards, further down, right, and then it didn't exit all the way until where B three forty is. B340. Yeah. They took over that whole floor plan, which yeah. I think that, that, in my opinion, that was the best maze at Shacktober last year. So, hands down. Um, so, yeah, Lullaby was a, a scary one, especially because there's some truth to this story. Um, it was funny because I did the Grey Ghost uh, investigation that they have there currently. Anyone who, who loves the paranormal, who wants to do that, I highly suggest that one. Do it. Uh, if I remember her name correctly, I think it was Becca that was the investigator. Very sweet, uh, very sweet woman, uh, very knowledgeable woman. She thinks that there was never a ghost in that thing. That over the years, because of Dark Harbor, something manifested based off the tale, which is entirely possible. So, oh my god, I wouldn't doubt it. Like there was never, you know, a lot of these are kind of just BS stories that they just enhance to make a lot more scarier and to sell a story and to sell tickets. So, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. Lullaby. One thing that was cool about most of these maze titles is that they are like Yeah, there is no record. That's why they that's why she said it was a manifestation. 
There are other ghosts, though, that are a lot more evil on that ship that I have read about and heard EVPs and shit about. The music, right, right as you walk in, terrifying. And they were so simple. They would just put some fucking concert speakers on the goddamn back of the wall, and then that was the music. And I was like, dude, yep. I love it. The floor actually naturally creaking. You know what? You know what's the best thing I can set, tell this, and, and and I mean this in all respect and all and, all, and 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 all the compliments in the world. This is a high budget home haunt. If you look at it, very high budget and the best way possible. Yeah. yeah. This tripped me out that there was just bars in the fucking middle of the regular maze path. I was like, what is happening? Oh yeah. Yeah. Home haunt vibes, yeah. I agree with that. Room 13 was fun. I'm probably one of the only people that... Dude! There was supposed to be someone hiding up there, no? Or is that later in the maze? That might uh, have been later. Later in the maze. It was like a darker hallway. Like a strobe light, I think. Why is there just a yeah, chair? Yeah, that's, that's like halfway through the maze. Yeah, and this, this hallway right here was intimidating to walk down, too. The way your shadow just grows. Well, it's just it's just fucking terrifying when you look at it, you know, like the red light and everything. It looks like a horror yeah. movie. Yeah. Michael Myers gonna be walking towards me. I don't know how, because in Shacktoberfest, I noticed everyone was scaring in pairs in the maze inside the boat. Yeah. I don't know how anyone can do it by themselves. I, I would be fucking terrified myself. I couldn't even focus on my job. The fuck was that? Some random video that they had going. I hate to say it, but um, Dark Harbor is not handicap friendly. <laughs> it's not. If you want to go on any of the boat mazes, you just you're not. That's like half I the mean, event. You just, you know, say, you know, go off road four by four down the stairs. This this part right here scared the fuck out of me. The because curtains. no, but when I went through, there was someone fucking running back and forth, and it scared the fuck out of me. And then one popped out, and I was like, God damn it! Okay, so right there is the actual the the isn't the fucking the pools to the left right there. I think so. Cause yeah, I remember seeing that when we did the tour. That was still that's still on the wall. Yeah. I can't wait for all the footage that's to come this year. I can't wait to fucking with, with film all with all the, the cameras that I have and shit now with low light. Like, yeah, all the low light. When I went in 2019, I, I used the Panasonic Lumix. And low light was not the best. I can't wait to see what my Sony does. Yeah. You know, we're talking like 4K, 8K, low light. But mine know? doesn't do 4K. Mine only goes 1080. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying like all the new cameras that are coming you know i know dude it's like i remember watching povs back in the day with night vision yeah like yeah, now yeah. now low light's just so good bring bring back green night vision please dude i'll fucking i'll do it yeah, i've always wanted to i i like for years i would tell my mom like when i was doing nights of worship i need to get a camera with night vision and i could do povs and then finally and then i started discovering low light and i was like actually i don't need night vision <laughs> Now, back in the day, they actually let you used to walk through the pool, huh? Yes. For, like, first-year lullaby. I heard it. The, the, I was told that the pool, because there's no boiler under the pool no more, so it's got literally nothing to support it. Support really. it. So, like, it can literally, yeah. it's super fucking fragile. Yeah. Why they did that, I don't fucking know. They had to fix something with the boiler? Because they actually use, like, running water on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, little Pepper's ghost. Mm-hmm. 
I got lost one year at Dark Harbor. <laughs> what the f- You're not in one of the one? No, dude, in one of the mazes. I think it was in Feast. Like, I went down a wrong hallway, and then I realized it was too lit down here. I was like, this is not part of the maze. Yeah, see, like that. I did some shit like that. Because the curtain was not closed, it was wide open, and it was obviously a backstage area. Right. But, like, you know with Dark Harbor, there's some mazes where it's just re- regularly lit just so you can move to the next area. Yes. That's a... Is that a Doobie Brothers bit song? Listen to the music. Listen to the music. That was cool. Are they literally having a conversation saying they went? I think those guys went down the wrong path like I did and ended up in another maze. Yeah. They were probably in B340 and ended up in Lullaby. <laughs> How fucking cool is that? <laughs> I'd be so confused. Though. I'm like, wait, this story's not adding up. Imagine if you didn't realize it. And you go to the end of the maze and you're looking at like one of the blackouts that are there. You're like, what maze am I in? And you go, <laughs> Lullaby. And you go, I went in through B340. <laughs> They'll start freaking out and shit. What that girl say? <laughs> what? What? Okay, I have to say though, uh, this next maze is uh, B three forty, one on one a.m. By the way, how we doing? Um, B- uh, I actually might dip out. All right. Well, I know you have work in the morning, so I appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. You know, you have an invite anytime. I know. If you do this on a Monday night, sometime at some point, you know. I will be on until the very end. <laughs> okay, well, let's schedule. How about in a few weeks we'll schedule a Monday episode? All right. Sounds great to me. All right, cool. I'll see you later. You have a good night, my friend. All right, boys. Y'all have a good take one. care. Y'all have a good one. You have a great one. What do you remember most about B- B340? Soundtrack. Soundtrack? Easily. 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 Soundtrack. Yeah. I, uh, I, I think, to me, this was the scariest one. And this is the one that had the, the strobe light hallway of the girl popping out. Like, that scared the fuck out of me. Actually, um, I wait, scroll up on the mazes. These are our last four. And then we're going to fight a slider show. I think it was B340 where I remember hearing the family of the guy that they based it on. Mm-hmm. It was either that one or. Yeah, that was a huge, that was like the whole thing in the beginning. You kind of get in that backstory of him going crazy. No, but I can't remember if I can't remember if it was that maze or a different one. But the family actually came one night to Dark Harbor, and they were like, "What the fuck? No like, shit! We like we didn't know that y'all made a maze about something that happened in our in our lives that you know we're not cool with or something." Yeah, but I do remember hearing about that. Wow, that, that the family showed up one night and they were kind of upset about it. Yeah, I, I actually. <laughs> That was a, and I know it's a very low thing to have on your bucket list, but that was a bucket list thing for me to go in because I had heard the story through Dark Harbor and then kind of started right. researching it more and more. And when we did both the ghost tour, um, shout out to my guy, Paul, not you, Paul, but the tour guide, Paul, probably the best tour guide you'll get at Queen Mary. So request Paul if you do. Um, and I'm pretty sure the other tour guides are great. Don't get me wrong. No hate. Um, but Paul was the one we had and he was very knowledgeable. He loves the queen so much. And, uh, yeah. And he even has, uh, he even has a lot of the ghost friends. So, um, that's, that's, that's cool. But we went into B340 and we got to, uh, experience it. Now it is eerie. Um, but, uh, I had heard that Disney actually installed all the trick stuff to make it a paranormal room. So it sold more when they actually had ownership of the boat at one time. Um, so like it it does have like little like a box where you can trigger effects and it looks like it's a paranormal experience. Yeah. Um but it is it is a very eerie room. Uh just because you, the stories that you hear uh was that the one you could crawl on your knees to get I can to answer the next that. Section? That that was feast. That was feast, right? 
Yes. Wasn't that when you went through his oven? It was it was actually two separate ways. Like if you were handicapped, you you had to go this way, but there was a section that if you wanted to, you can like you're like crawling through an oven. Yeah. Basically. It was, you're crawling through his oven. Yeah. Um I think I did it the second time around, but like the first time I made my friends go through it. I'm like, I'm not going through that. Cause that year Hayride had a similar thing in Midnight Mortuary where you went through yes. one of the fucking uh the open uh casket thing where they keep the bodies. Yeah. Um so that was trippy. But uh yeah, B three forty man. Let's reminisce. Yeah. Yeah, another sausage, yeah. Butter let's talk about butter sausage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the soundtrack was banger. Yeah. That's what you fucking use on your stream? Yeah. You fuck. Of like two and two are making sense now. Yeah. I'm like, wait a second, I just heard this shit today. I thought the set design was really cool in this one too. It was really well put together. I really hope they bring the this back others. and re revamped. Yeah. That was fucking scary to walk in right there. Yeah. I think you were allowed to go through that section. Oh, wait, no. I don't remember. The secret bar was right there, I think. Or somewhere around here. He was cool. I think his name was Nicholas. He was in circus, Sorry. you said? No, no, no. I think I was saying I think his name was Nicholas. Oh. Yeah. See, I feel like I wouldn't be Oh yeah, that you can crawl right there. Oh yeah. It was I'm like I, I I would tell that girl like I'm too small for this. I'm too big for this shit. I'm going to get stuck. That's scary to come out to a body on the floor and then her like that. Fuck that. Oh, fuck that. That's why I want to do the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge here. Like, we're already going to be on guard with the fucking haunted ship. Let's add a little bit of haunt to it. Golden. <laughs> yeah, this one definitely had, like, more set design. Like, it wasn't, like... Bip walls, you know, with oh, it, it had really there. good set design. Like, like, like they they put a lot into this one. I think they try to recreate what the queen used to look like in its heyday, like as far as the right. rooms go. Yeah, yeah, because it was based on a room. You know, B three forty is the name of a room. All I request is if they, yeah, the soundtrack was sick. I, it, all, it was I, so all I got to awesome. request is if you're gonna reboot it, at least keep the music. <laughs> yeah, right there. Fucking scared the shit out of me, because yeah. I did not see that coming. I think she, I think this, this person triggers. Yeah, they trigger the fucking the strobe light. So like, you're walking in the dark, and all of a sudden, bam! I'm just like, oh. Ship maze is not handicap accessible. No. And it's so simple. It's just, you know, a bunch of, like, bed sheet. It really is. Cloth, you know. What happened to the music, man? We can only have it for so long, huh? One section, I guess. A little boo hole. Then a washing machine. And you know what? You know what also gives me trippy vibes going through these mazes is how tight everything is because of the, it's the ship. So like that hallway right there, that's fucking like yeah. that's some Star Wars shit. Like I feel like I'm gonna be crushed. Yeah. What a scare! It's better than bit. Um. Oh yeah, the freaking the cat. Oh, there's the music again, dude. Road, that scared the, the fuck out of me. Road. I'm I'm terrified of heights, and that was a fucking collapsing yeah, bridge. Dude. 
God, I about had a heart attack. My my buddies were in front of me and they were trying to go slow and shit and laugh. I'm like, move. I fucking yeah. shoved them and ran off. No, they somehow made that um, platform drop like an inch or two to make it think you were actually falling. And it was just so funny. Dude, I... <laughs> I about never had a heart attack on that thing. <laughs> because in my head, the, the only thing that repeats when I'm up high is the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Oh, God. I just hope if I do fall, I just fall hard enough so I don't have to fucking live. Did you just go in a circle? <laughs> yeah, he did go in a circle. <laughs> He did. What the fuck? How did he go across yeah. a bridge and then come back? I don't know. Oh my god. That person just charging up at me like that. I'd be like, I don't know where I'm going. I'm like, this is why probably like 10% of guests got lost on a nightly basis. You still go to the circle. I would hate to fucking have to go through that a second time. I'm glad I fucking knew where I was going the first time. Did he go right or did he go left? I think he went right. He went That's right. Why. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's like, oh, I'll yeah. go left. He, idiot. <laughs> That's so I'll funny. be honest, though. Like, I, and, and that was the thing that they, I think they need to work on for, for the return. A little constructive criticism, if you want. That's cool. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. A little constructive criticism, if you might. Um, add some blackouts throughout the maze so you can guide people because that I think was a big issue at Dark Harbor was people were turning and they didn't know where they were going and then little do you know you're on the other side of the fucking ship. Yep. In a different maze. <laughs> yeah. Or not even in a maze, just on the opposite side of the fucking ship. <laughs> just walking right. through the fucking bottom of the ship. Outside of the event. I'm like, damn, this is a very realistic maze. They really got the details of the ship right. It's the fucking ship. Yeah. You know, I probably hit my head on that on the way out. Yeah, he was able to touch the the whole like, roof part, you know. I know I hit my head a fuck ton in Feast in the beginning because of all the pipes. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't walk away with a concussion that year. <laughs> all right, speaking of Feast. Speaking of Feast. All right, last boat maze. What do you remember most about Feast? Crawl space. Um, the cast. Probably the cast. The cast was really like tight that year. I remember every single one of them was like super committed to everything and yeah, they just played the part really well, you know? Uh, I just remember hitting my head a fuck ton, which is probably why I don't remember the maze. <laughs> well, I might've had a concussion. Here's your chance. To here's my refresh, chance to watch it. Refresh your memory. <laughs> yeah. I just remember walking through and like, I think you can even hear it in my POV. Like, fuck, I hit my head again. <laughs> Shit was, oh God. What do you think? What's the most mazes they can put on the ship? Only three? Yeah, probably. Because they like to keep the mazes pretty long. Okay. On the ship compared to the outside, compared to the outside mazes. Um, so probably three, which is what they did. Yeah, that's what they always did. I was thinking maybe if they were to be able to add a fourth one this year. Right. For Shacktober, they only did one, and that was a long maze. Well, I think they only did the one because they might have gotten the approval very last minute that they could do a maze on the ship. It turned yeah, out to probably. be a kind of a clusterfuck for them, though, in a way. Yeah. The night that I went, right after I went in, like not even 10 minutes later, it flooded. <laughs> a pipe burst into the fucking Grey Ghost scene, and it just flooded the whole room. Oof. You see what I mean by the cast being very committed? Yeah. Oh, he was at a hayride. He's a, a mortician. Really? Yeah, that's him. Um, fuck. I can't remember his like actual name. Last year's hayride, or he's been there since he left, since the end of Dark Harbor? Yeah. And the end of Harbor. And he went to Hayride. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, 21. Since 21. He's been at Hayride. Why didn't I... Uh, I don't remember it starting like this.
Bless you. Ew. Yeah. He's throwing up. Stinky. Man, I. Oh. I'm I'm nervous this year. I really am. I want this event to go smoothly. I just I don't want it to fall into the 13 floor. I'm gonna call it the 13 floor curse. I don't then again, think they haven't they haven't done it with delusion yet. At least I don't think they have. I only got to go last year. I haven't been years previous, but years previous I heard everyone said it's great. Let's see what their new location holds up. I remember this maze being cold because of that peephole. Yes. You ever been to Delusion? No. You need to try that one. And they always do like a weekend after haunt, so you, you're able to go. Just the noise. Camera pans over. It's just pitch black. <laughs> From Robin Big? No. <laughs> R.I.P., bro. <laughs> This was looking through... Yeah, let's just look at the fucking... The city of Long Beach. <laughs> Shoot, I would. <laughs> Why? When you can literally walk around the goddamn ship and see the whole view. Yeah, but... I'm here to get scared, not look at ship. Long Beach. I'm, I'm here to be transported to World War II, not fucking 2019. Which I'm assuming a lot of these tales, that's where they, they're maybe taking place. I don't know. Long Beach can be scary. Yeah, I guess. Yep, it can be. Especially if you've been to all 13 bars in one night. <laughs> it can be scary. <laughs> Talking to you, Chastity. You don't know what the fuck these people have done. <laughs> you think she's going to add, like, like I said, she's going to add, like, three times more bars. Oh, uh, charity? Yeah. What I call her, Chastity? Yeah. I was close. I got the ch part right. Right. It's going to be, I, I really hope, you know, it's going to give me a, you know, I'll tell you the moment I know we're going to be in good hands for Dark Harbor. When I'm sitting in that panel at Midsummer Screen and I hear Brad's voice in person. In living color. There, there's what you're talking about. Crawl space. Yeah. That was cool. I had the blades on the bottom. Yeah. And there was like a little slide. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't, um, whatchamacallit's boyfriend one of the main chefs too? Was who? Sam's Sam's boyfriend. JD. He was one of the Shit. chefs too, wasn't he in Feast? Or wasn't he like... He might have. To be honest, I don't remember. I think he was. Nice guy, by the way. Yeah, very cool guy. You think he returns both, this year? Both of them. Both of them are very nice. Yeah, very nice people. Both of them. Yeah, I we've had yeah. Sam on. The, I've yet to have JD on the podcast. I think I'm gonna hit him up pretty soon. I know he'd be down to do it too. I think he's literally yeah. told me like, just let me know. What better time than now, what right? Were, what were you saying though? Um. I was just saying. I thought. I think he worked in Feast. I remember he was telling me that. Oh. He's got the build for it though too. Yeah. Big and muscular. Red stairs. Which equals intimidating. Which equals uncomfortability for most fans. Exactly. This is why I don't think I need much to scare. I can literally just stand behind people that get scared of me. I do that now and they get scared of me. I'm not even in anything. <laughs> My face is just that scary. I don't think it's your face. Stature does help, though, a lot. Oh, look at that's genius, bro. Work your room right there. If so you only got a set of stairs, work them. I had a friend in this area who fell doing that on that set of stairs. 
gashed his knee open or his like shin open, had to get stitches, and then the maze gave him the Han name Crash. <laughs> Did it? Weren't wasn't that a, a pair of stairs that a lot of people fell down from? Yes. Or I think it was this set of stairs. Because it's uh like escalator stair. Oh. Like it's all metal. I could have sworn though it would have been those ones because they were steeper. No? Am I just going crazy? I can't remember. <laughs> Guess we'll find out this year, huh? Yep. If they do that same pass. Yeah. Now that's that's gonna be also a thing we gotta also take in mind too. I don't why did it stop on me? Matt, was it the previous oh. one? That's over. Like the non escalator. No, it's, it's not over. Were, were we done? Was that the end of the maze? Was that seriously it? I guess that was. Okay, he just kinda blacked out on that one. Um Yeah. We're gonna do another uh, manic short break with uh Rebellion. Uh, when we come back, we're going to finish our, our videos, uh, so stay tuned. we got some more uh, Dark Harbor coming up after the break. But for now, here's Manic.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on Nights of Horror Radio. Back again for another look to the past. Queen Mary's Dark Harbor 2019. We're taking a look. We're taking a, a trip down memory lane. We got Vertigo here earlier. We had Lone Star on the broadcast. Uh, he had to leave a little bit early, but he got halfway through. He's with us. Uh, shared some of his input. Um now, Paul, we were talking before the break. Uh, we just got done watching Feast. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end here uh, with Intrepid Next and following Rogue. And then we're going to end it with the Slider Show. Um, man, I, I have to say, I think ro- watching a lot of this so far is getting me really excited for this event, dude. Yeah. Definitely, like, watching videos all the time just, you know, takes me back and knowing that the event itself is coming back yeah it's got me hyped it does all right let's move on with intrepid and then we'll finish it with rogue and then we'll find a slider show we'll watch the slider show and then we'll call it a, we'll call it a night um thank you guys so much for uh, sticking around with us I, I see we have pretty much a stable audience and it's it's been just awesome to to chat with you guys you guys are very active um this episode uh whether you're talking about the stuff here or other stuff i don't care i just love seeing you guys active um makes me happy uh and thank you guys so much we actually uh, hit 150 followers tonight so uh, appreciate that so much 150 here we go uh intrepid now uh so the thing i remember most about this maze that i think it's just beautiful i would love to use it as a fucking filming set was the courtyard scene yeah it's just so fucking beautiful such a beautiful set. Unfortunately, when I went that night, I had a pretty bad walk through the maze. I think mm-hmm. a lot of either uh, cast change or, or breaks, lunges, whatever it was, didn't have a lot of cast in it. But I do remember that the sets for this maze were just incredible. Very. All right. For sure. Let's t- let's check it out. Let's take a revisit. What do you remember most about Intrepid other than the annoying ass horn? I didn't think the horn was that annoying. But you, you probably got to. Bl- you probably eventually just blocked it out toned it out because yes. you were there every yes. single night i was right. there two nights and every time i was in line it scared the fuck out of me and i got annoyed by it <laughs> you i'd be talking mid sentences bam i'm just like fuck the fuck is that <laughs> i thought it was the queen um, so when they let you in there's a container that's looking out towards most of the event right um but there's a little cut out in the container so you can see people's like heads walking through right right our break area was along, like, the way to get to our break area was on the side of that. <clears throat> so what I would do is I would see people's heads, like, going through, and I'd know people are, like, going into the maze. Um, since it's a shipping container, it's very echoey, very loud. If you have a slider glove on and you fucking bang it, right? So I remember running full force into one of those things and just going, like, Bam, you know, like like full sprint. The amount of screams that I would like echo in there. Because you can, because that thing echoes, just you can so hear that funny. shit. Yeah. No, but think about it. Like you're inside the container as I'm hitting it with yeah. metal. Like, yeah. It's extremely loud in oh, there. So yeah, no, but every, like the screams have to be hilarious too because they're the are gonna echo as well. Right. Um. It was just. It was so funny. Put it all together, and that's what we call controlled chaos. Yeah. Um, I have to say too, uh, you know, Intrepid was something that I want would like to see back uh, again. Um, very good maze there. Uh, I just thought of something right now too, completely off topic with Intrepid. But if you do return this year and you do, uh, you know, pass the audition to come back and whatnot, you know, um, this would actually be the first year at Dark Harbor. That you would debut the, the the Vertigo character. It's 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 literally mooch. <laughs> I know, but under the new name is what I'm saying. Like uh, that, would, that's kind of under Vertigo. It's kind yeah, of a big keep... deal, you know. Like to, to kind of, yeah. you know, you left as mooch, you come back as Vertigo. I would probably change some things about the character. Yeah, you would probably update it for a newer version. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that being said, I won't get too into detail about that, but I, I have to ask because it is kind of my job. Do you have ideas if it does happen? Probably, yeah. You got some Maybe. ideas kind of gearing in the back of the brain a little bit? Yeah. Little little upgrades here and, here and stuff? And yeah. All right, can't Definitely. wait. 
Can't well, wait. I got longer wait. hair. That's true. Um, and that's another thing. Will you go back blue? Maybe. Depends on. The, <laughs> I, I I really got to say it mostly depends on the event. What we see gets announced and how the theming's going to yeah. look. Yeah. And then you'll know it, how it, it, all, it all depends on the theme right now. Yeah. We got to wait. It's a waiting game. But the gears are are ticking, huh? Yes. All 100%. Right. Intrepid. Oh yeah, they had the flame tower too. That was cool. Yeah, so you see that container on the right? Yeah, the there was a there was a little hole that you could see out of and it would see people walking through and I would just run and fucking bam. They look like front of the line entrance. Yeah. I love how they created this train too. It looks so realistic. Pyro effects were so cool. I mean, I can only imagine for you guys that, like, especially because I, I remember the nights I went, it was cold. So being around that felt amazing. Yes. Yeah, that was one thing about our event. It was always cold because we're next you're to the right, beach. You're right on the shore. Yep. Like, literally, you look behind Queen, not looking towards Long Beach, but looking, like, towards the ocean. It's just pitch black. Yeah, I really, I really dug this whole train build up all the way to that courtyard scene. So good. You're talking about this scene right here. Yeah, this right here yeah. is just like right here. This looks like a film set. Yeah, like that's how blown away I was by it. This ain't Disneyland. <laughs> Bring that guy back. One thing about this maze too that I, you know, remember always is because um what's his name? Uh Rails. Israel. Yeah. He he was uh he was in this maze. There he is. <laughs> I was like, that's him. Yep. <laughs> but that's You're like right? like right like right there, if you think about it too, like imagine like, okay, because I know a lot of people, there's always this controversy, maze, streets. Yeah. There's a fuck. You get to scare. You get paid to do it. Regardless, that right there looks like your own mini scare zone. You know what was cool? Sliding in the mazes was allowed. That's cool. Yeah. So they, would they still have to make them go through the slider test, though, to do that? Yes. Okay, oh, because yes. I imagine it's to. still a safety thing, obviously. Yes, absolutely. That's really cool. They give the opportunity to do that. And they actually had a lot of the space to do it too. Oh yeah. There was there was plenty of room. Cause that was the cool thing about Dark Harbor is they had uh especially a lot of the outdoor mazes, they were very wide sets. Yeah. Dude, I was friends with one of the Gillies, man. She was so cool. <laughs> How fun would that job be though, dude? I'd be fucking Call of Duty like, don't move <laughs> just making references all night yeah. i would even go as far as to buy my partner a fucking walkie talkie just so we could con communicate <laughs> patrol dead ahead stay low stay <laughs> hidden <laughs> okay go go <laughs> in the background all here is <laughs> Uh, for those who don't know, COD 4 Modern Warfare, iconic scene, 15 years ago, is what I used to call the mission. A young Lieutenant Price. Yeah, so, so we're supposed to, was, you're supposed to be in sorry. Scotland? Yes, you're actually at the area where they were making the ship. Oh, okay, like I never got, yes. I never understood that. It, for me, this maze always seemed out of place. Yes. Someone just but. fucking restarted the loop. But. Was that a steel plate? Maybe. Like a war zone steel plate? Maybe, maybe. Who's this guy? I don't know. He's not in the maze. Hit the floor. Well, now that I have more of an understanding of what this was supposed to be, I kind of like it a little bit more. Yeah, it's very cool. 
Like I and said, like had, I just had, had the the icon character, the Iron Master for this maze. Right. I, he had he a was giant a new character. He an- was anchor on his hand. He was not a new character. No. No, he had been around for a while. Funny enough, one of the first years Intrepid came out, it actually caught fire. Wow. Yeah. Oh, one thing why I love this maze is because it took you back to the front of the event. Yeah. Like it, it made you re-enter the event. Yeah, so you got to go through that area again. So there's my light pole. <laughs> if you want to rewind. We're going to rewind that. Little little, Keep, little stop and little more. stop and play. This one, stop. Yes, on All the right. right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that that one right there. So, do you see how the lights are aiming down? Yes, at you. At you? So, people would just be walking by, They'd be <laughs> completely blind up until around the point where they got to me. Much like so, uh, Kmart and Ghost Town. Exactly. Right. So. As soon as they would walk up, all I would have to do is just stick my foot in front of their face and they'd just be collapsing on the floor. It was just dropped it was really, really easy scares. Well, not to mention you're, you know, I, 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 like I just said, intimidation of height, you know, especially in yeah. haunt. So when you see someone higher than you, that's a fucking, that's scaring you. It's like, oh, fuck, right. you know, like, especially me. Like, if I find people that are taller than me, and that's in rare cases, I say, you know, there's one guy at Knott's, you know, that's taller than me and it's a little intimidating, but like, you know, like if the, if I see someone tall, even still, it's intimidate me. I'm just like, fuck, yeah. you're taller than me, like shit. But it, um, it, like when I was up there, it would also entertain the people that were waiting in line for the porta potties. That's that's before funny. they even got it. So it was a win. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> I was also I was thinking of something funny when I when we when I paused it right now. How funny would it have been if he would have caught you on camera and it would have faded black right when you fell? Oh, I know. That would have been like the only footage I think in existence to be there, and we would just be constantly yeah. replaying that. It says, "Why is this the most watched part?" I uh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> All right, uh, the final, the 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 newest maze that they had, the last new maze they had in 2019, um, was Rogue, uh, and I thought this was a really good backstory for the captain. Um, I think what I remember most from this one was walking in and that whole projection of that rogue wave hitting the fucking boat. Yeah, dude. That was probably like a game changer for me right there when I saw that at the time. You know, uh, since then I've seen effects surpass that, but at the time, that was a game changer. When did Origins come out? Was that 18 or 19? That was 19, so it was on par. Okay. So I remember seeing Rogue first before Origins. And Rogue was done by Plague. Yeah, Cook. Um, it's Cook that was like classic. The, that was, yeah, that was the first ounce of like Plague that I got ever. And then, you know, going into Origins, very cool. Yeah, I mean. I really, I really liked what he does. The detail in this maze is so cool. Um, even as so much so to go to make a bubble pit at the end to make it look like the boat was sinking. Um, yes. I thought it was really cool. So let's yeah. let's take a trip down to Rogue real quick and uh, yeah, yeah, let's not spoil it for the people who haven't seen it. Yeah, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. It's it's one thing to explain it; it's another thing to to see it. All right, this was in like a a dome too. Like they put a dome over it. It was what we call a, a sprung tent. Yeah. That's what they use a lot in Orlando for Halloween Horror Nights. This was the maze that I knew. Um, Eric, Daddy. Was he in this maze? Yes. Might see him right now, huh? Yeah, maybe. He did do a good job to try to intimidate the captain. Oh, yeah. This was also technically like a Grey Ghost tribute. It really was, because it was supposed to be around yeah. World War II. Yes. Explains the soldiers and everything. So yeah. are, we, are we supposed to be walking in the bottom of the boat right now, and now we're going to go on to the top of the boat? Yeah, we're going to go to the top, to the right. captain's quarter. Yeah, now we're in the captain's quarters. Yeah. That and right there. The- that was the screen. Yeah. yeah. And then you went to the right and then they showed you like the outdoor section of it. They did a really good job uh, rebuilding a lot of these sets, though, I'll be honest with you. 
Especially when it could have just been as easy as a cop out to just put it on the boat. Take your pictures on deck. Move. Jesus. Yeah, right here was around the area where the secret bar was. We went in there. It was actually in there, right there. Yeah. Went in that one. That one was fun. That's the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, huh? One of the things on the yeah. ship. Yeah, the smokestack. Yeah, dude, that's fucking sick. So another cool thing was... The butt cheeks. Um, the characters mm -hmm. were alive. They weren't dead. So yeah, this was like... Very act, a lot of them were acting very human, you know? Yeah, this was like supposed to be of the... This is as the crash is happening, isn't it? Like as right. they're sinking. Right. So you're starting to see chaos break out as you go more and more. I love how they dress the blackouts. It's it's hilarious. Yeah. They have microphones too. Yes. Communicate further down the line. That's smart. They used actual water for some That of those is so bitchin'. Look at you're upside down, dude. Yeah. Fuck, I really forgot this one. I think the only thing I remembered was the projection. And I thought that was yeah. in the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get in here. I want more. Oh, yeah. Fog box. Look at that. There's the water right there and everything, dude. They did a really good job. Yeah, the actual water. That was cool. Yep. That, this, honestly, I will say, this is one of the most immersive mazes I've probably walked through. Yeah. You really felt like you were in the middle of the action. I remember walking through, uh, even during a uh, lights on. This should still look cool, huh? Oh, yeah. I imagine, dude. I mean, this this maze is just so beautiful. Seeing every ounce of detail. Oh, 100%, dude. It's, it's a great maze. Yeah. Those guys were so funny. They seem like they're funny. They seem like they're a great duo. Bring them yeah. back. Put them on the streets. So check this out. The area outside like people would bring the soap or the bubbles outside oh i remember it was like a whole trail for like a few feet and it was incredibly slippery oh yeah so i know so sometimes some of us would just sit outside and watch people like slip and we'd start laughing <laughs> that's hilarious yeah all right <clears throat> do you have a preference Ooh. If it does for come 2019, up. Kylie Hope's video is pretty cool, but it's not like the actual audio. I'm assuming she covered it up. Why? With a uh, different audio. Yeah, she did. Uh, what about theme park duos? That one, the one that says Slider Full Show, that's an actual, like, full show. This one? Yeah. Because some of them are, like, kind 15 of, like, minutes. Cut. Yeah. Is that good footage? Parkoneer? I would think, no. I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out. Shout out Parkoneer. Parkoneer. Plus, this was more into the season already. A lot of those other slider show videos are like from day one. Hey, look at you. Day one. That is me way down there. Oh, actually, I was wrong. This is still opening weekend. Because my hair was light blue. Do you darken it? Yeah. I 
There's Kiwi off to the right. I the thought that was. I just didn't. Wasn't for sure. Yeah. Was he sliding by then, or was he just um, helping out with the shows? He's there as a guest. <laughs> oh, I thought he was in the show. No, no, no. You guys look like you had a lot of fun doing this. We were so dumb. And we're just, we're just doing this because we're bored. And you're just standing there like, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Did you go do the shoulder move to someone real quick? Hey. Our Dracula's video is pretty good, too. Oh, you said he's, this is the fool because they got you guys doing shit before. Yeah. You guys fucking. Yeah. Who was the narrator? Was it Sparrow? No. Um, our announcer's name was uh, Draven. I've heard that name before. Yeah. He already announced that he was not. Is that Freak? Back. Yes. A very young, the wrestler now, bro. He's killing it in the indies. Like he's buff there, but homie's fucking like yoked nowadays. Well, homie's full time wrestler of the indies now. Yeah, I've yet to see a match of his yet. I've I gotta catch an event. Makeup was so good that night. Fucking mooch. My music what? cue. <laughs> you walked by the camera. He's like, that's not my music cue. And you went, my music cue. <laughs> I'll know, I, there's one thing I've noticed about you in, in show dress up moments. You always you always try to sneak in a comment somewhere. And I'm the only, I'm the only one of the only people that always catches it. <laughs> like, you <laughs> sly bastard. <laughs> like, what was, what was the Christmas sliding show? He goes, Daddy was like getting his voice ready. He's like, I gotta get my voice ready. And he goes, he um and then after and he goes, me, 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 me. And then you're like, still terrible. <laughs> like you always do those little one liners. I'm like, motherfucker, he could he could cut a promo if he wanted to. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Do you have footage of that? I do. That was oh, okay. um Creep It Real 2023? Two. Was it two? Yeah, during yeah. Christmas. Yeah, it was two. He was gone for like a weekend. He went to Vegas? He, he, so he's an actual magician. Oh, is he really? Um yeah, yeah. So he was actually performing in Vegas. Good for him. I I wish they would have let him. Did they let him do that at Dark Harbor? Or like any of his like as? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Should have had his like own little show. So I met I, I met the, the the staple guy the other day, or not the other day, but at an event like this year. He used to staple the money on him at Dark Harbor. Does he wear purple? Uh, well, he's shirtless most of the time because you step of money on him, so. Darker complected? Uh, I, he, I'm, older guy. Was, was, was his name Dangerous D? Yes. Okay, yeah. He's cool. Yeah, he was at, uh, the clown event at the Heritage Museum in Santa Ana. Gotcha. And he gotcha. was doing his thing and I got to staple more money on him and. I told him the story. I'm like, you know, uh, one time, 2019, when I went to Dark Harbor, my friends were too scared to staple something on you, and I wasn't. So they gave me a 20, and I stapled it on you. And then you told me, man, you must be psychotic because you really enjoyed that. And I was like, look at him. He's still smiling. I'm like, so I did it again. <laughs> I don't know. This motherfucker, his pain tolerance is... is Through the roof. He, he can handle it, bro, Cause he get, but he makes a lot of money doing that. He's smart. Oh, yeah. It's like Looney with the fucking uh, the bobby pin through the nose. Ugh, fucking. She, she wants me to always pull on it too. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Oh, look at you two coming in together. You guys came in together. You guys come in together again. 
He was just in here. <laughs> oh no. This this was an okay show. Yeah, because the intro was kind of was was very mid, very long. At some point, they stopped the music during this show. Oh, <laughs> well, y'all take it too long. This this was not the best show. Where would the bald man stand? Who? The bald man. What bald man? Dickerman wasn't he in charge of you guys in twenty nineteen? Oh, uh, he's actually behind the crowd towards the orange light right now. He's that's the where, one contr that's, controlling the music. That's where he would watch you guys from? Yes. Yeah, which he actually can see us because of how many people are standing right there. Wait, so he was running music? Yes. Like he was music cue, basically. Oh, and then they had a guy doing the music stuff? Oh, what do you mean? Did he have someone actually working the board, or was he working the fucking board? He, and the was, he was the board. He was working the board? Yeah. What was it, just an aux cord in his phone, or what? Aux cord to a laptop. Oh, okay. The, yeah. We had the music pre-made. Damn, that's hot, Mooch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did that hurt? Hell yeah, it did. <laughs> How did you continue twice. after that? Twice a night, 30 nights. <laughs> oh, bro, you have you got to go to the doctors to make sure you don't have testicular cancer. I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> You're like, I already checked. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Transformers when uh, Shia LaBeouf is like, I went to go check if we needed a bigger shirt. And the, the frat guys go, we already did. We checked. <laughs> The thing I remember most from the Transformers one was he's trying to convince the teacher to give him a better grade. And he goes, just think, what would Jesus do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would Jesus do? You see how the music's paused? Yeah. You guys are just fucking, just fucking around it's, now. It's because it's we're behind. That whole intro sucked. Was this opening night? No. Probably opening weekend, though. Maybe like Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to take a nice fat guess and say that he told you guys to cut down the intro after this. Yes. Sounds like him. Yeah. Because he was like, you guys can't hit your parts. You got to cut that whole intro. So we were like, okay. Yeah, you kind of just ad-libbing it here without the music. Yeah. Because it's Cherry and Freak's part, and look how long it takes, you know, because right now Cherry's grabbing Freak, or Freak's grabbing Cherry. He's pulling her back, and now they're getting started. Cue music about right now. Music. There it goes. Was that by the dome? Or was this not by the dome? This was the entrance, wasn't it? Why the mess fucking running uphill? Uh, the dome is to the right. If that motherfucker, I I need to see that motherfucker do that shit in the ring. You see what fucking? Listen, no, no, no. Hey, listen to my dumb ass running uphill. Always, it's always something with you. I I feel like you see a camera and you just have to do something. <laughs> that shit was so funny. You're probably legit tired, though. No. Nah. Don't lie. Cause, no, because we practiced the fucking show. I know. You know what? I was tired. I know you were. It was already fucking... You were already scaring on top of fucking doing a show, and then you had to do another show. Yeah. You did two shows a yeah. night, right? Later that night, yeah. And on top of sliding throughout the event, I would imagine by a certain point of the night, though, for before that second show, you would probably slow down a little bit. No, 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 no. No one in you. You'd probably keep going. I would I would have slowed down so I had enough energy for the last show. Nah, I kept going. Fucking Justin's over here sprinting. <laughs> Is that evil? The red hair? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he wrestles with that shit. 
Yeah. Paul. I love pole dancing. I do it on the weekly. She came close, bro. That was mm. unless unless she knew what she was doing. I'm assuming she did, but that was close in my book. They light on fire for real. <laughs> I wish. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. I can't remember. I didn't get to watch it in 2019. In person. Uh, remember, I kept I told you this like so many times. So the problem with this is we had too many people right there, but Justin kept like blowing it out with his mouth, so it just looked funny from the people all the way in the back. My dumbass is trying to spark the trail. And Killis is taking off fucking running, just wetting people. That's her today. It's Hollywood! So what we would do is we would actually take photos with the actual guest, because that was an actual phone, but we would use it for the bit, and we would just, you know, take photos with fans and shit and post them online. Oh, yeah, there you go. Jesus, how much fucking water did he have in that thing? An entire gas can, which was... Five gallon? Two gal. Three gallon? Three gal, maybe. Yeah. That was so funny. <laughs> that kill us. Yeah. Does that kill us? What do you think? Did you like this floor better? Or did you like the, the the by the dome more, or is this by the dome? No, this is not by the dome. This is more no, in the middle. This is not by the dome. Uh, I, personally, I wanted the dome because it's flat land. But um, yeah, I did look at the ground when I spent the night there. Yeah, because this is all uphill, or we're sliding downhill. Right, we had to keep running back uphill, so. Bricks were easier. We had to micro adjust some things, but well, that's probably why you guys are getting the speed you're getting too, right? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm like, you motherfuckers aren't going under that shit. I wouldn't have even gone under that. I'm like, I'm too fucking big for this shit. He, I think you know. Do you know though? Yeah, I knew. You, you feel me? Do you feel yeah. him, sir? Jump in between. That's what I want to see. There we go. Yeah. See, we need to do this style again, like outside of Queen Mary. That's what we got to do. It's kind of hard to find a spot to do it. I'll build a spot. We would do it at Reaper Real, but the ground's hella rough. Why don't we ever just look into building our own fucking show floor? possible like yeah we would have to f come in and, and build it every single time but at least the very least it'd be fun to have a decent place to slide where your pads aren't getting ripped up every fucking couple months you know yeah yeah the goal is for Knights of Horror to own a warehouse one day then y'all can come slide anytime It'd be like the fantasy factory call it the nightmare factory oh wait I think that's the thing that's taken I think that's Cody's wrestling school <laughs> oh really yeah. Now, would you guys get break after this? Oh, my God. Yes. We do, like, maybe, like, five minutes. Some people would get... I don't know. We would get... Some of us would get sent back for, like, 15. They would split us up. And then... We'd be out for 15, and then we would trade off, do 15 backstage, and then come back out. I would imagine just a quick five real quick for you guys to go backstage, grab some water real quick, and cool off for a second. 
I mean, it takes like four minutes to go backstage. <laughs> so you got a minute. <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds much. to drink water and 30 seconds to take a breath. Yeah. I mean, they have to bring this back, right? This is a staple of the event. Oh, yeah. The Slider Show? Yeah. Yeah. And the Fire Show. The Fire, fire show, show was yes. fucking lit. Yeah, Pun intended. Full intent. Full intent. Jesus. Yeah, I believe yeah, I, I believe he can do it. He is so athletic. Yeah. He could probably do it. Well, how many was right there? Three? Four? Five. That was five? I think he can do probably yeah. a solid six or seven, honestly. He could. I would love to see what his PR would be, though. At least you got. Did you get a back crack at least on that one? Yeah, that would feel nice. I bet, huh? You'd be like, "Oh, all right, I can go for the rest of the night." <laughs> yeah. Step on my back. Step on my back. Do it. <laughs> Wow. Homer said, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> they were sharp. Why did you have real machetes? Fuck okay, it, we ball. Huh? Fuck okay, it, we ball. That's so fucking dangerous. It's not real machetes. It's not. You guys would get fucking hurt. They were very much real machetes. Why would you jump real machetes? Fuck it, we ball. Yeah, until someone gets sliced open and then there's blood all over all of you. Yeah, it would have been kill us. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I'll just save it for after the show. Jumping on the hill was when... You land, you were a lot lower than where you started. Yeah. Tefu said, fine. Said, fine, I'll do it. Fine. I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Last recap. <laughs> I love Thanos. Yeah. Best movie villain ever. The grand yeah, remember, finale. I, sorry, I was gonna say. I remember one time the announcer Draven. He had the machete in his hand, and somebody was like, "Those ain't real." And he he somehow just pulled out a cucumber from his fucking trench coat and started fucking shooing, 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 like in front of everybody. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Okay, that was a little. That was clean. I'll give you Simple. that. Give you a nice little. I'll give it an eight point five out of ten. Yeah. The butt could have been a little more up, so I can see some more butt. But that's about it. Excuse me. <laughs> that would have gave it the point one one point five. <laughs> Kylie Hopes, Hopes, Hopes videos got mad at it. We ain't going out like that. <laughs> You said it's got Matt in it? Yeah. Is that when he guessed? Yeah. One of the nights.
Are you ever scared when someone does that to you? What? Like when you guys are doing that tunnel? Like, are you ever scared? No. I'd be terrified. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> I don't care. I'd still be terrified. I think one time Justin went under. No, 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 no. Justin was where Rampage was in the front, right? I forget. I think it was Gillis where he walks up to him. He walks up to Justin, and it was Justin's night off. Like, he was in regular clothes. They had him out there in the show. Gillis walks up to him and just fucking straight up kicks him dead center. <laughs> the fucking balls. That shit was so funny. <laughs> Matt was saying jumping on that hill was like, was when you land, you were a lot lower than where you started. Oh, yeah. That yeah, because you're on a, you're on a hill. You know? Must have been really scary. Well, what do you think of next week doing another bracket? Of? Best scare zone of 2023. Matt, we're doing another bracket. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll just do a solo show again. We'll see. See what happens. Maybe in a few weeks we'll do a bracket. I don't know. I like the bracket. Cause I was on streets. How can I? How can I do that? You got to be very, very open minded instead of being biased. Well, what better people to talk to than people that have street experience about it? Because you can get in the nitty gritty of other street zones of how they do stuff and kind of be like, oh, that's cool. How would you approach that? You know, it's like, I don't know. I was thinking of Horror Nights, Scary Farm, uh, Six Flags, and Shacktober. Mm. Which really, Shacktober probably gets like one slot. The whole thing was just one big scare zone. Yeah. So, but it was a strong one at that. We'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back to that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a lot of things are going to be happening in the future. You need to keep your eyes on. Um, a lot of things going to be announced really soon. I won't say what those are, but keep your eyes on the the socials that's where you're going to want to find it um you can find uh, obviously us at nights of horror um you can follow moochie here at qm underscore vertigo is that it right that was it i got it right yeah um and uh keep up to date of, of things that are coming in the future but uh another great solid episode of nights of horror radio i like to thank everyone out there who stayed stuck around listened uh i like to thank um Paul and 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 Omar coming on today, reminiscing for Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. I think we're ready for 2024 now. We're, we're set in stone, um, and I'm glad we got to do it with the audience. And for those watching on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching the replay, listening to us on uh, on Twitch. We appreciate it all, and uh, thank you guys for all your constant support. Uh, it means the world to us, and we're gonna keep going, keep going stronger. Uh, until then, until next week. This has been your episode of Nights of Horror Radio, special two-hour edition. And we will catch you guys next Tuesday at midnight. Right it here. Was two hours. <laughs> yeah. Right here on the Nights of Horror Twitch page. Only the only place you can find Nights of Horror Radio live on the air. Until next week, ladies and gentlemen. Stay spooky.